Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching. More. Thanks for tuning in. It's Monday. It's time for headlines. Oh, that's right. That's right. So, uh, police in Oklahoma are searching for somebody. Well, apparently, you smoked a little too much weed. Well, I don't know if they were high when they did this, but uh, apparently, they stole four hundred dollars worth of beef jerky. Ooh, beef jerky. I didn't know there was a black market for beef jerky. There's a black market for everything. That's really. crazy. That's crazy. When, when you think about it, if you're going to steal something, you could sell it. I suppose, yeah, but that's crazy. 400 bucks. I wonder how much beef jerky that was. That, like, must be a lot. Yeah, it's like this much. Really, you, really? <laughs> well, you see how much well, beef guess, jerky yeah, is. Those little, yeah. Right? Just guess, like yeah. one, like, 200 gram, 200 gram bag is like 40 bucks. Yes. Made me laugh a little uh, bit. Yeah. yeah. Um, so an opossum got an early Christmas present. Uh, it broke into a liquor store, and in the process of breaking into a liquor store, it knocked over a bottle of alcohol and decided nice. to drink it all up. And when the store clerk came in the next morning, he found a drunk opossum. Nice. And uh, the, the best part about the whole thing is when he called animal control, they came in, they got him, they rehydrated him. <laughs> And they set him free. Put him in the animal drunk tank. <laughs> yeah. I just the fact that they rehydrated him, like they actually hooked him up with saline, That's awesome. animal saline. It's like what animals like, can get drunk too. He was just he just went on a bender. A f- went on a, a bender. Whole bottle, yeah. yeah. And you're just well, not that much bigger than a cat. Um, so you know, Japan has their cool rail systems, right? And they're they're very prompt, right? Yeah, so they, they take pride in being very prompt in Japan with their sea trains and their transit. Yeah. Um, and the the local transit um, um, authority authority yeah sorry um, issued an apology um, because their train was get this twenty or it wasn't it left sorry twenty seconds before scheduled time. Hmm. Wow. Well. And the, the nobody complained. They didn't have a complaint. They nothing. The company just issued an apology, saying, "Hey, we're sorry." Hey. Uh, uh, from what I've heard, is if the trains are actually late, you get a little uh, slip from the transit authority oh. saying this train is late, so you can give it to your boss. Oh, interesting. So yeah, it's interesting. You know, it's unlike here. Like if there's a train going across the way, you're screwed. Yeah, it's like train goes. It's like well. Well, it looks like I gotta wait for a while. Yeah. And here in Canada, we and gotta... it's more like I hope my boss is stuck behind me somewhere yeah. on the train because at least he'll know. Yeah. So. Here in Canada, you gotta leave fifteen minutes early. Oh, sometimes even more, even than, more that. than that. Yeah. So because we're in Japan, we might as well stay there. A disgruntled brother attacked and killed a woman, his brother, and then himself with a samurai sword. Japan, it has to be a samurai sword. But of course. Just, you know. Is that what they call irony? Maybe a little bit? No, I don't know. I, I'm so bad with the use of those things. <laughs> no, like I don't. I, I don't know if it's irony, that one. Seems a little bit like it's a little bit ironic because samurai swords in Japan. But I guess it can make sense because maybe they're more popular over there. But Well, it is Japan. Yeah. You know, it's like uh, running into a claymore in Scotland. I guess we better have a referendum, a referendum of uh, samurai swords. Yeah, Make it so well. people can't buy them. So uh, Voyager One, do you know what that is? Voyager One, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the the satellite probe that they yeah. lost uh, launched a long time like ago, like nineteen seventy or something like that. Yeah, yeah, it and, it, and it broke. Um, it, uh, it, uh, it went past Saturn, and it took some really good pictures and stuff like that. I guess um, they, they um, when they talk to it, sometimes they have to realign it so they have little thrusters yep. that um, they Moving. use to reposition it. But I guess those thrusters, they're breaking. They've worn down. Obviously, it's been up in space for this damn long. Mm-hmm. And uh, so I guess they did something recently um, that they they haven't done in 35 years. Hmm. They turned on the main engine. Oh, wow. For like a split second, just for just just yeah. just boom, quick. Um, I guess, and I guess when they sent the signal up to do it, um, it took them nineteen. It took nineteen hours for the signal to get there and come back. Yeah. So they f- could know if it worked, and I guess it worked. It turned the engine on, realigned it. Amazing. Hmm. The thing was dormant for thirty-five years. Turned it back on, no problems. Yeah, they I could know. have blown up. Imagine that, eh? Thirty-five years of little boom. Yeah, yeah. Just to have it go. Man. Turn into space. That's so. crazy, eh? That they could launch something like that. 
and now in our hands we have more technology than it's probably on that thing yeah that's crazy it is uh, how come you can't take me to space yet apple where's my hey transport me to my house yeah yeah Boop. if only i laugh i just disappear <laughs> where did barry go yeah. hey guys i'm at home yeah Get a little Jeez. phone calls like, hey, yeah, yeah, Barry. Uh, yeah, I'm at home. What happened? What just happened? Yep. How'd that happen? Hmm. FaceTime. And then you yeah. Go, hey, look, it's real. It's real. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, a team here at the University of Calgary has won the International Genetically Engineered Machine Foundation Giant Jamboree in Boston. Yeah, that was a tongue fun. twister of a name. <laughs> Um, they uh, they actually did something really interesting. They managed to turn human excrement into plastic that can be used in a 3D printer. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Um, I guess there is some volatile fatty acid and uh, a little tweak to bacteria, and the bacteria will eat this acid in the poop and poop out plastic. Mm. And then you can t take that plastic, put it in a 3D printer, and voila, you got yourself. It's interesting. I like the concept of 3D printers. That's cool. That's like a that 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 is a the, a, a big deal. That's huge. Like, um, not only do they have 3D printers for plastic, but they are uh, dabbling in food right now. And uh, currently, there are numerous companies um, trying to push through 3D printers for metals. Uh, I have. It's like the replicators on Star Trek. Getting close. Getting close. It's yeah. getting pretty close. Eh? That's. It'll be pretty cool when that stuff's affordable for your house, and you can just be like, "Oh, I need a new plate." Yeah. Just make a new plate. It, it could be very interesting. I, but I don't. I, I don't see them being readily available to the public for that reason because it would, or the cost of the whatever ink you use or product you use for would be so high that. It's not worth actually. Yeah, it's not worth actually anything. printing a plate or yeah. whatever. You know, and it would take it's five cheaper. years to make a pencil they'd be like make a pencil and you'd be like 20 years later you got a pencil you know because uh, uh, 3d printers are pretty quick uh, nowadays but yeah i think they're pretty cool like I, I, I like the concept of it's just fascinating absolutely cool i love technology technology is cool it's a really cool thing uh what do we got coming this week we're uh we got a couple more movies uh, what movies did we do? Um, a little bit more. Oh, I know that I watched them. <laughs> yeah, I, I did the same thing. Actually. A little it was bit like, more uh, dramatic. What? Yeah, yeah. We went for a little less a little bit more flashy yeah. and a little bit more substance. Um, we're going to be talking uh, about, well, how the news has been the same, it seems like, forever. Yeah. Tune uh, into that one. Man. That should be a fairly interesting episode. And uh, YouTube has decided to lift up a couple of rocks and realize there's some ugly... What they found under there is bad. Bugs, yeah. Mm. Yeah, very bad, actually. So, yeah, tune in for the rest of the week, and don't forget to do all the fancy stuff like subscribing. Yeah, and you know. Turning on the notifications and hitting right. that bell button. And that's right, because then you, our fancy videos will go bing on your device when we're live and when it's up there, and you can just flip it right open, stop what you're doing right there, drop it all, and just watch that's what you gotta do because we're so riveting and so interesting I'm sure YouTube's found some way to nail our content because of our language or something <laughs> well no but yeah, we'll yeah, get into yeah. some of that with coming up videos trust me alright yes. guys thanks for watching thanks for tuning in see ya later <laughs>